Another load of new ties in. Not a whole lot of room to turn around in here, but that guy's a truck driver. He can do it. Gonna take some fun angling around. Okay. Just about it. Short our ties in this area. Head to Scrounge, we got another tractor trailer load out there. Head to Scrounge, get these uh, two loads to us today. The tie paint's been broke down too. It's 195 ties on this tractor trailer. Got to separate them. They load them on with the big, uh, big front end loaders down there at the tie plant. Pretty cool stuff. Well, here you go. I showed you that picture, that incisor, and this is the marks that they make through here. They, they, they run the ties through and then flip them over so that all four uh, edges, surfaces of the tie get, gets incised. I had a very good, oh, let me tell you that. I showed you the one drum over here. On the other side, they have another drum. So those drums come together and, and uh, press into that. That is probably uh, close to a half, maybe uh, not quite a half inch deep. I had a very good fortune. And here's the uh, plates that go get, they get pressed on there. Uh, or in the, some of them, like if they use these for a crossing where they have to cut off here then they'll put the plates on by hand but anyway i had a very good fortunate fortune this summer to tour a tie plant uh the co-owner general manager is a good friend of mine
where we get these ties and he he was it was it was a really awesome tour uh he did ask me not to uh make any videos of the tie plant though so anyway i wanted to show you this um pretty neat stuff huh all right They were actually making ties for Amtrak down there when we were there. So I'll show you a picture of the uh, tie plate here. It's got an AM for Amtrak on it. And uh, they have, uh, they sell a lot of ties to uh, New York City Transit. And they actually have an inspector come in almost weekly once a week and he grades the ties and those ties got to be almost perfect <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty cool okay thought i'd show you that all righty hope you enjoy the rest of the video we're going to be spreading some black bananas out <laughs> all righty Don't know if you can see that better here. Literally in the shade. I actually made this video in July. And <laughs> look what we got. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not July. Actually, uh, this is the week after Christmas here in December that I'm actually editing this video and uh, my day off. So I ran over here to our milepost eight siding because I didn't have any pictures of this and I wanted to show it to you. So there you go. Just got a load of ties in this morning. First ties. Gotta go out and spread them. Got a tie gang coming. to put in around 2,000 ties. We got a shutdown coming up. Hope, hopefully we get uh, about what we do every year is 2,000. <laughs> we get our ties from uh, Appalachia Timber in Sutton, West Virginia. Always pretty good. They're all always pretty good ties. Very often, uh, seldom. Maybe out of 2,000 ties, we'll have uh, three or four that are soft. That's pretty doggone good. Sometimes they get soft if they don't let them air dry before they creosote them. Especially uh, the maple wood. And they'll get, they'll, if they creosote them when they're a little bit green, then they will, then they'll, they'll rot quick. Creosote. So they air dry them for several months before they put them in the, the creosote them. We got lucky here today. Ha <laughs> ha! This is railroad. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Start to spread the ties out. They're uh, they've already been marked. So Lucky's going down here, and he'll try to find the marks and drop the tie off. We don't have very many bad ones through here. Pretty skimpy. That's good. I 
I didn't mark these ties. When I mark ties, I like to put a mark on the outside of the tie. And then every five ties, I put a slice mark. So he's got, he'll drop five off at that slice mark. But the guy that marked these marked the inside of the rail web. And it's a little bit more difficult for Bucky to see that way. Just coming out of Maple Town Tunnel here. Going down to spread ties. Down here at curve 59, 58, I'm sorry. 59, curve 59. Right over here to our left is Robina crossing. That's where we had the rail break out. For seven and a half inches, the railhead broke out. Bread and ties. That's nice he can run that truck from up there. I used to have to drive the trucks for him. That was a long day. crane coming along. Die crane will set them in place. This is where Lucky was. You saw that one. Uh, he was setting up the rails. Had a video there of that. That was the uh, video where we set the brand new truck on. This is a fairly new truck too. Things are pretty prosperous at Frontier. That's good to see. They actually bought two more brand new grapple trucks since I made that video of uh, Lucky in the brand new truck. And they're a, they got a huge job for Genesee and Wyoming right now in Massachusetts. And they have four grapple trucks up there working that job now so <laughs> they're doing good and that's good to see that's real good real good to see all right I gotta get my gloves, I'm gonna go down and kick that tie over a little bit. I don't think. Pouring. I got another grapple truck up uh, about a half mile up track. He's spreading ties coming down. So we're getting a lot of tie spread. Uh, we probably put around 1,700 out this week. Uh, had one grapple truck running by itself. And then today we've got two, but they've been running trains really good. So, you know, our track time is uh, limited with uh, what we can do. But I think that's a pretty good day a week's work. Getting all that done. Tie gang's coming next week. I got to turn around so I'm not uh, shooting directly into the sinus. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Okay, hope you have a really good day and happy rails to you until we meet again.